In this video, we're going to take a look at solving and factoring higher order polynomials. So let's start off with an example. We're going to use uh, y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 7x plus 21. And when we factor this, it may look a little intimidating at first, but I think if we use the uh, um, factoring by grouping, it'll make it a little bit easier. And when we factor by grouping, we want to look for things that are in common with these things. And the terms are arranged kind of nicely, so that way we can demonstrate this. But if we look at this first group of terms right here, those have an x squared in common with them. And if we look at the second group of terms right here, those have a 7 in common. So what we want to do is we want to factor those out. So let's rewrite this factoring those out. So if I factor out an x squared out of that first grouping, okay, we're going to be left with um, x minus 3. Again, because x squared times x would give us x cubed. x squared times negative, x, or negative 3 is going to give us negative 3x squared. Then in this next one, we're going to factor out a negative 7. Okay, so we have a minus 7. And when we do that, we're left with a positive x right here. And when we factor out a negative 7 out of this 21, we've got to remember it. what's left over is a negative 3. Okay, negative 7 times negative 3 would give us a positive 21. And when we get down to here, we're going to notice that we have a common factor on this x squared term and this term with the 7 leading. Okay, so when we look at this, Here's another factor right here that we can break this down even further. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out this x minus 3. So when we rewrite this, this is going to be x minus 3. And then what is left over is an x squared minus 7. Okay, so this would be in simplest terms. We can't do anything with this x squared minus 7 because 7 is not a perfect square. But uh, this would get us to the point where we can actually begin solving it. And the reason we'd want to solve it is so that we, we, we can find where um, these x values cross, or the, the uh, x's cross, cross the y axis. So when that happens, we've got to remember that uh, y is 0 when it crosses the x axis. So when we look at this x minus 3, um, and then times x squared minus 7, that quantity, um, we're finding basically the roots of this polynomial. All right? And remember, just like before, this first part could be 0, and it would make the whole thing 0. The second part could be 0, it'll make the whole thing 0, or both of them could be 0. So we're going to look at that and, and break it up into two chunks. So we're going to say, OK, 0 is equal to x minus 3. And the other chunk is 0 is equal to x squared minus 7. When we do this, same thing as solving before when we did solving equations. So plus 3 plus 3 x is equal to a positive 3. And I don't like writing them this way because this to me looks like a vertical line um, where 3 is on the x-axis. So I like to write these as an ordered pair as 3 comma 0. Okay, and then this other one over here we're going to add 7 to both sides. Add 7 to both sides. And this is going to be 7 is equal to x squared and we have to take one more step. Since this is, since this is squared, we have to take the square root of the right hand side. We have to take the square root of the left hand side. And one thing we have to remember, when we square something, um, we can have a positive value when we square it. Um, that gives us a positive value. And when we have a negative value and we square that, that's going to give us a negative value. So this is going to actually end up being two values, plus or minus the square root of 7. So when we, when we solve this, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7. So our ordered pairs for this would be uh, square root of 7, comma 0. And the other one would be negative square root of 7, comma 0. Now we could use those uh, roots that we just figured out to help us sketch a picture of what this graph might look like. Um, so let's first draw the y-axis and the x-axis. And we'll label those. And let's go ahead and plot our points on there. Negative square root of 7, I'm just going to put somewhere right around here. So this is negative square root of 7, comma 0. And then my other point is going to be the square root of 7, comma 0. And that should be about maybe right there. 
and then the value of 3 comma 0 which is going to actually be kind of close a little bit bigger than the square root of 7 so 3 comma 0 and those give us our roots or where it's going where this uh, uh, cubic is going to cross the x-axis and if you remember from cubics if we have a positive leading term right here it's going to start from the bottom left and go up and then it'll come back down and then go back up so with our roots we can actually sketch a pretty nice uh, um, or get a good idea of what that curve might look like and it might look something like this where it comes down comes back down and then curves back up something like this alright so that gives us a general idea of what that graph is going to look like and what those roots are for the cubic and hopefully this will help you um, not only factor but also solve uh, cubic polynomials along with graphing them